Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Catman Joe and welcome back to another brand new video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another brand new episode of a how to build the Minecraft minigame lobby, guys. Today we're on episode 8 and today I'm going to teach you guys in oh, I'm going to be showing you guys, sorry, how to build another one of the minigame lobby buildings. Now, this is the second one that we've done so far out of a vast, vast, vast selection of houses, but this one is incredibly complicated. Now, we'll just say this real quick that this one will require you to have the underside done as well. Um, in the next video, pretty much, of the minigame lobby build episode 9. Um, I'll actually be teaching you guys how to build the under part of the, the lobby as well, the under left hand side I believe. And uh, with that you should be able to build this house also and uh, it should work very 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 well. So yeah guys, let's get right into today's video. Alright guys, so let's get right into it pretty much. Now as also, I just want to say real quick, as you can see here, I've been working my ass off in a sense to build a lot of the minigame lobby for you guys. Now in the next episode, as you can see over there, I've pretty much already got it built and ready and it will be recorded and uploaded on time hopefully. So yeah, that'll be awesome. But uh, yeah, that'll be for this part here, the lower down underside. I'm just going to say it real quick. So you guys may want to just stick around for the next episode of the minigame lobby build, which will be episode 9. We're very close to episode 10 guys, which is uh, pretty, clear, uh, pretty crazy that we're already on 10 episodes of this series. But yeah, let's get right into the episode as I already said. So for episode 8 guys, there is going to be another 15 steps. If you didn't see episode 7, we actually built one of the other minigame houses. And this one actually required you to do 15 steps also. But for this one, once again, it is another 15 steps, which is pretty crazy. Now as you can see, this is just step 1. You're going to want a 9 by 5 Pretty simply, uh, you know, it's pretty easy and simple to do. As I said, you may want to wait until the next episode to do this because it will be a little bit more easier to do. But if you feel pretty confident on building this, then you're more than welcome to kind of just get right on with it and do it. Um, as you can see here, I've done this cobblestone base. You should not do this. Do not do this. I just done this, um, like to show you, you know, how I'm building it on the platform, um, using this cobblestone kind of thing. This is like a cobblestone platform or a cobblestone base for my builds. And above that, that's actually what you should build here above that. So yeah, guys, this is step one. Also, your entrance will be at the back over here. This would be technically where you walked into the building, um, and you know, this will be where the doorway and stuff is. So yeah. Now for step two is pretty much just carrying on from step one. We're actually adding a few extra little details though, including some bookshelves and stuff like this. Um, you're pretty much just going to add. You're pretty much sorry, just going to want to add wood or oak wood above all the current oak wood that you placed before. Then what you also want to do is round about back here. You want to actually add four bookshelves and a stair. The stairs are going to continue going up as you can see over there. It continues going. And uh, here, this is the same kind of pattern you're going to want to do all the way around. What you're going to want to do is have one stone brick, one stone brick stair, and then one stone brick. And just do this all the way around except from at the doorway at the front, where you're just going to put two stone bricks and then leave a gap in the middle for your door. Now step three again, it's just carrying on once again. Um, all you're going to want to do is add oak wood onto the current oak wood that you've already placed. So pretty much just add you know an extra additional six more pieces above the uh, pieces that you've already done before. And then on the inside you're also going to want to add two more bookshelves. Now make sure you do this as well, add a little plant pot with the oak leaf, or sorry the oak tree sapling I think it is. Um, and then also add a stair because this is us, we're going to continue going up the way towards the second floor obviously. So you're going to want to make sure you add all this. Um, over here, if I don't actually show you guys back there, you want to add um, this kind of little like table area. We actually done this in the last episode as well. Um, but here you want to also add a, I think it's a grey carpet, I believe. I think it is light grey or grey carpet. It's just grey carpet. There you guys go, as you can see. Uh, it is, it's just grey carpet. So yeah, you want to get some grey carpet and uh, add that above your spruce wood. Um, I think it's, what is it? Spruce wood, sp uh, spruce wood, what is it? Fence, I believe. Uh, fence. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I keep getting really confused with these. Um, there's just so many different kinds of like materials and stuff now. It's... I don't know, it gets kind of confusing. Uh, also, by the way, just in case you didn't know already, the glass itself is actually light blue stained glass. Um, this will be the glass you use for pretty much a vast majority of the Minecraft minigame lobby builds. Um, and yeah, also here you want to add also in your uh, door. I didn't add any trap, or sorry, I didn't add any pressure plates in here, but you are actually supposed to add pressure plates there and pressure plates there. Um, I don't know why I didn't add them in, I must have just completely forgot, so I do apologize, but if you guys wouldn't mind adding them in, there you go. Now, there you go, guys. Moving on to step number four. Now, step number four, once again, is just carrying on with the same kind of pattern and design. This one, though, you want to just add on a extra, you know, one extra glass onto every single side where you put the glass last time. Um, also, you want to add an extra stone brick onto every bit that you put stone bricks on last time, and then also one oak wood. Now, at the front here, the doorway, you also want to add this. It's kind of like a little, uh, I don't know, I'm guessing it's meant to look like a doorway. That's why the door is best placed like this. Uh, in case you're wondering, I do know a lot of people probably for, like prefer their doors like me. Um, I mean the more traditional way, or the more sorry traditional way, which is like this. Um, but for this kind of old guys, if you do want to make it look as authentic as possible, make it look just as close to the original as possible, you do want to have it like this. This is exactly how the original one is. Now on the inside, as you can see, we've really not done much else. We've added an extra stair in and added and also an extra bookshelf in, and that is pretty much guys. That is that is us pretty much guys for there. 
Now step number five really is again, you know, just carrying on with the same pattern and same design. You're going to want to add some uh, oak wood onto every part of the oak wood that you placed before. You're going to do this a vast amount of times for this build. I just want to see it real quick. Um, so yeah, just, you know, be prepared for that. There's going to be a lot of oak wood um, included. And if you are doing this in survival, which I would be very shocked if anyone is, but if you are, um, you know, just as I said, be prepared because there is going to be a lot of work towards it in a sense. Now on the inside as well, once you add in all this oak wood, you also want to add in your uh, stone bricks as well at the windows, if I don't already say that, and add in another upside down uh, stone brick stair like what you've done at the bottom here. So it gives this kind of two-tone effect. It's almost like it's symmetric in a sense. It is symmetrical except from these ones have actually got stairs here. But uh, yeah, you want to do that pretty much all the way around except from at the front. At the front right here, you want to add a, I think it's a chiseled stone brick, I believe. Yeah, chiseled uh, stone brick. You want to add that right above the doorway there, uh, or right above the actual uh, stone brick stair that you put at the doorway. And then on the inside, you want to also add another stair in and another bookshelf in, and also add three torches, one there, one there, and one there. And that'll pretty much be you. And obviously, of course, I'm pretty sure it goes without saying, also adding the uh, spruce wood stairs, because those are going to be obviously a big part of the ball as well. Now, step number six. Now, step number six isn't really a massive one, um, but this is really where you're about to start changing up the, the design of the actual front of the bowl, and you're going to start adding in balconies and all these other kind of things. So be prepared for that. Be aware that this is kind of where it does get a little bit maybe complicated, I suppose, if you're a certain person that doesn't really understand it too well. Um, right here, I actually forgot to add a cobblestone stair, so I'm just going to do it real quick. You do want to add a cobblestone stair, so it almost looks like you're going straight into the wall, uh, but trust me, in the original design, uh, this is actually how it looks as well. I do know it looks a little bit silly, but that's how I've done it for the original design. But yeah, above your oak wood, you want to add one extra oak wood, and above all the spruce stairs that you originally put, like here, 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 all, all the way around kind of thing, you also want to add an oak wood log above them as well, so it gives you this kind of nice little effect. Now once you've done that, you also want to add some more upside down spruce wood stairs like this, to make it look like kind of window sills, or some sort of like nice little slanty kind of archway in a sense, up above the windows. It really does look good if you ask me, I'm going to start using this more often in my builds, because I love the look of it. And then behind these, you want to just add some proper stone bricks also to, you know, give it some more kind of chunky look kind of thing from the outside so it doesn't look just plain. Um, and yeah, just giving it giving it some extra little look. Now, I don't know what the hell happened to the sign. One second. That's strange. I know, step six, the sign, I know for some reason, I think someone must have broke it by accident, but you know, you never know. Now, for step seven, uh, it's really just simple. This one, it's just carrying on from the others. Uh, you want to add oak wood above all the oak wood that you placed before. All the oak wood, you want to just add oak wood above for this one. And then it, right above that, you want to pretty much just connect all the oak wood together sideways. Um, so it gives this nice little effect above the upside down spruce wood stairs. You want to do this all the way around, including at the front as well, above the doorway. And then once you've done that, you should also have your stone brick, um, your actual proper stone bricks as well, still carrying on going up the way. And you should see here, this little stairway part that I said goes into the wall, although it does look kind of silly, you actually want to add a oak wood stair right here, so you can actually turn and go up here. Again, I'm not too sure why Mojang or 4J, whoever it was, uh, designed it like this, but the, I mean, the team done an excellent job with the actual design of the minigame lobby, but personally, I probably would have changed a few things myself. But I mean, obviously, you're more than welcome to choose or, you know, remove or add more things, do whatever you really feel is necessary to make this build look more custom and more, I know, maybe, I know, authentic or make it look better. I know it's really your option here. Um, and then yeah, then above that you just want to add some oak wood planks to kind of fill in this area here and add a floor in. And at the front of course here, what you want to do is you want to do this pretty much. Uh, you want to have two stairs, uh, two oak wood stairs upside down there and there. And then in between that, three oak wood slabs. And then in front of that, three or sorry, five oak wood slabs to add this kind of little balcony effect. And that's what you're going to kind of use from uh, here on out pretty much for the rest of the build. Now going on to I believe the eighth or seventh floor, I'm not too sure here, it is the eighth floor, my mistake. Uh, what you want to add again is go above your oak wood once again as i've already said you want to just add another layer above the oak wood uh, that you previously placed except from the stuff in between all the actual like windowsill areas uh, these three gaps that go sideways you don't want to add anything above them you want to keep them completely and utterly clear now the stone bricks from the previous parts have just not really been getting used this is where they're actually going to start getting used a little bit more uh, what you want to do is above them above the like three in between what you want to do is add an andesite polished andesite to be more exact and then a stone brick and then a polished andesite and then do that all the way around with the exact same pattern and then at the very front here where the balcony is you want to add a pressure plate there and a pressure plate there and also you want to just add two polished andesite because we are going to have a doorway here and at the front here you're going to want to add just some really simple and really straightforward spruce wood fences and then a spruce wood gate just to add in a little bit extra design because you should be able to jump off this once it's complete and pretty much land right down here on one of those um, bouncy slime kind of i don't know what they're supposed to be i'm guessing it's meant to be a trampolines and on the inside, uh, really quickly, it's quite simple. You're going to want to add a bookshelf in the back left-hand corner. Uh, the right-hand corner at the back, you want to add in a bed, and then obviously a crafting bench, and an upside down stairs, like a little nightstand or a little table in a sense. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Now, I just want to say, I'm sorry I'm going so fast, or I do apologize, I just want to say this real quick, if I'm going really fast. 
it's just honestly guys these boats take so 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 long to make and i really try and get them like made as fast as possible so then i can record a video on it as fast as possible and have it edited and uploaded so i don't really have to worry about you know lack of time to do these things it really does make it easier doing it like this but that's kind of in a sense why i'm rushing the video if i am going too fast feel more than free to just pause the video or even not even just pause it um, I don't know maybe just go back a little bit skip back if you need to and just I don't know find the parts that you're trying to find to build what you need to build now for the next part once again we're just carrying on we're going to add above all the I believe polished and the site that you placed you want to add a cobblestone or sorry a what is it called a stone brick uh, yeah yeah you want to add one stone brick above every one piece of polished and the site that you already put down and then in between that above the original stone brick that you put but, uh, like in between the two and the site you want to add a light blue stained glass pane um, and then above all the oak wood, obviously, you want to add uh, just some more oak wood going up. And in between here, guys, I don't know if I've done that in the back one. I don't think I did, actually. That was my mistake once again. Sorry. I always make those little mistakes, as you guys know. Um, but what you want to do back here is you want to also add in a spruce wood stair kind of. I don't know what this is for. I'm guessing this just add some extra little color and design. But it does look pretty good nonetheless. Um, you also want to add torches in the front here like this. I also want to add a door, of course, because, you know, you don't want that draft be coming in your bedroom at night. Nothing worse. And uh, all the way over here, if you see in the back corner, you want to add another bookshelf above the original. And also on your nightstand or your little, in a sense, oak wood table, what you want to do is you want to add a brewing stand. I don't know why you have a brewing stand in your bedroom. Do not ask me. But uh, yeah, I know. I guess it looks pretty okay. Now, for I believe this is step number 11 or 10. Yep, it's step number 10. What you want to be doing now is kind of working on the roof. Now, after this, the steps are incredibly straightforward and simple. This will be pretty much the last complicated part in a sense. So, really, you don't really have to watch any further than here. But if you're willing to watch till then to see any maybe minor details and stuff, uh, if you're more than free, of course. So, for this part here, you're going to want to add one oak wood onto every piece of oak wood that was previously there. Uh, I believe almost every piece, in fact. You want to mess out the corner parts where I'm like right now. You can see this corner part here, this part here. Um, the part over here and the part over here everywhere else you want to add oak wood onto and then what you want to do inside of the place as you can see above your actual stone bricks and uh, your doors and your windows and the actual corners you want to make one perfect little square of just uh, stone brick uh, stairs basically now the only gaps you want to leave in between all these are actually above these parts here your spruce wood stairs in between uh, you want to actually put a torch there and a torch there of course and this will add a little bit of extra light in and stuff inside so it is really safe and you don't want mobs spawning and uh, entities kind of destroying your place like you know your base nothing worse than when you want to go a bed in the game and there's just a creeper in your bedroom and you're just like well tonight's going to be a long night that's pretty much the end of it um, but yeah, and once you've done that though, on the front, what you want to do is I've pretty much like what you've done uh, back or down here even, as you can see. You want to do the exact same in a sense. What you want to do is on your oak wood, you want to get a spruce wood stair. And uh, you just want to put it like this. So we add these little kind of like windowed archways in a sense. I don't know why all these bones have them, but they seem to have them. Um, so you should do this all the way around so it looks pretty much the exact same on every single side. Now at the front and the back only and i really want to just specify this at the front and the back only of course this is where you're going to want to start doing this you're going to want to get your oak wood uh your actual oak wood uh, stairs sorry to be more specific you're going to want to come to this log here the middle log and then this log here and then do the exact same on the other side so it'd be this log here this log here and this log here and what you're going to want to do is obviously just place your oak wood stairs right there and like pretty much just where i showed you guys to place them and this part I know a few people may have found a little bit kind of confusing, so I hope it wasn't too confusing, but I'll try and explain it the best I can. But basically, what you want to do is right beside your oak wood stair, you want to add a stone brick. Now, I don't know why they've done this once again, but it's one of those little extra details that does mean a lot. You will probably, and you will need to, in a sense, add this. Um, in fact, I'll destroy this real quick and show you guys real quick. So what you want to do is once you have added your oak wood uh, stair base like this, you want to get your stone brick placed like that. Get your cobblestone and place it here and obviously for the next floor we'd be placing it there and then behind that there would be another stone brick and then beside that there would be another oak wood obviously i'm sure you guys get the grip and then right here what you want to do is you want to get a stone brick stairs and or a stone brick stair and then just go upside down and do it like that so add this weird kind of little design so when it's finished if i just skip all the way over here i don't want to skip too much obviously but as you can see it adds this nice little archway design i think it looks really good and it's a nice little additional feature to make the building stick out a little bit more so yeah you do want to definitely consider doing that and you do want to actually in a sense do that now once you've actually done that obviously that is you the next part is fairly simple once again you want to add another layer or a complete and utter line now of actual oak wood uh, stairs and then obviously add on the sides of course the you know stone brick and then a cobblestone stair in front of it and then the upside down stone brick stair do that obviously on all the corners and just continue that same pattern all the way up to the very top you'll notice it's the exact same all the way like all throughout the entire ball pretty much from here now at the very top this part um, is quite you know important as well what you want to do is above your kind of like windowsill areas you want to add a complete straight line of just oak wood and now i thought it would have been like 
Uh, let me just show you guys if I, what am I doing. I can just do it like that. I thought it would have been a little bit more better like this personally, but if you want to make it look as authentic as possible and as close to the original, you want to make it exactly like that. So it's one straight line of five oak wood going sideways. And you want to do this on the right and the left side, of course, so it looks like this from above. Now on the inside above your actual stone brick stairs as we done on the last step what you want to do is for this one you want to add some upside down oak or sorry spruce wood stairs upside down to add this little kind of two-toned effect so you have like a little gap in the middle here as you can see it looks a little bit strange personally I'm not a big fan of it but I actually think it does look kind of cool in a sense um, although I'm not a big fan of it I'm just saying in general it actually doesn't look all that bad to be honest with you guys and uh, yeah that is pretty much it so for the next floor once again you're going to want to continue carrying up the roof doing your uh, stone brick stair cobblestone in front of it upside down stone brick uh, stair and you know etc etc just continuing on that design and then what you want to do obviously above there what you should have is this as you know you can see back here you have this kind of big square pattern here what you want to do above that is you want to add oak wood stairs obviously to continue up the roof and then you also want to add just complete oak wood all the way across here and above the original five on the right and left side oak wood that you placed you should have a gap by three you want to place oak wood this way and also oak wood this way so it looks like this pretty much and uh, yeah that is that is not pretty much that is you basically now after you've done this what you want to do is once again just continuing on the roof and upgrading it and adding more onto it and uh, sorry if you guys can hear something in the background it's just a dog I do apologize um, but what you want to do as I said is just continuing on uh, adding more onto the roof pretty much another line of complete oak wood and then obviously stone brick stair beside it cobblestone in front of it and then beside that as well what you want to add is your upside down stone brick stair and uh, this is a kind of a more important part as well you want to add a straight line connecting the middle part all the way up with exactly oak wood just coming all the way all the way across a nice big straight line and then at the very end of it here you want to add an upside down uh, I think it's oak wood yeah an upside down oak wood stair and uh, yeah that's pretty much you guys complete really with the build now for the two last for, like you know for episode first step sorry 14 and 15 it is pretty self-explanatory and pretty honestly simple in a sense i don't want to waste too much of your guys time i know it's already been quite a few minutes this video but obviously we want to add uh, once you've done this pretty much once you've got this part done you want to add another uh stone brick uh, yeah another stone brick here like this so it looks like that and then you want to do the pattern for one last time like this so pretty much what should happen is you should end up with a pattern that looks like this at the very top and then obviously at the very top you can't add a you know you can't add two stone brick stairs there's not enough room for it so you want to just add an upside down slab and that's pretty much you guys now over here as you can see um, I actually this is the right pattern as well you want to do a add a spruce wood I'm pretty sure so a spruce wood fence gate spruce wood, a spruce wood fence fence gate fence fence gate fence fence gate fence fence gate so you should at the end of it had five fence gates and four fences so it looks like this and then for the very final design all you want to do is simply just get some cobblestone walls and kind of cap it off in a, like in a sense and uh, just add in those two little posts at the very top right and left side guys and there you go that is it that is you actually built with the I think second mini game building and yeah you've done it completely and utterly the exact same as how it is in the mini games so you guys there we go i hope you did go to enjoy today's video as i've already said please be sure to go and drop a like on it guys it does help with the channel a lot and i really do mean that guys these videos can take me hours to do and i don't mean they can i mean they do take me hours that's what i meant to say actually because honestly these videos are incredibly long and incredibly hardcore to record and I, I say guys i do mean that really these videos can take me hours i mean one of the last videos that i just done um, I think that one took me four hours and that was including getting help from Kiwi Gamer. These ones here took me about maybe five hours and that was just me doing it by myself. So it really does show guys I put a lot of work and effort into these videos. So I would love to see some, you know, really great likes and feedback from you guys. And yeah, other than that as well, please be sure to subscribe. And also if you're new to the channel, I said, well, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you haven't already liked the video. And uh, you guys, other than that, thank you for watching today's video. And as always, I will see you on tomorrow's video. And peace out guys.